Cristobal de Morales. Cristobal de Morales, c. 1500 between 4 September and 7 October 1553, was a Spanish composer of the Renaissance. He is generally considered to be the most influential Spanish composer before Thomas Louis de Victoria. Life Cristobal de Morales was born in Seville and, after an exceptional early education there, which included a rigorous training in the classics, as well as musical study with some of the foremost composers, he held posts at Avila and Placitia. All that is known about his family is that he had a sister, and that his father died prior to his sister's marriage in 1530. Others who lived in Seville are considered to be potential relatives of Morales. These include Cristobal de Morales, a singer employed by Duke of Medina Sidonia in 1504, Alonso de Morales, treasurer of the cathedral in 1503, Francisco de Morales d. 1505, a canon, and Diego de Morales, who was the cathedral notary in 1525. Earlier Spanish popes of the Borgia family held a long tradition of employing Spanish singers in the papal chapel's choir. This had a significant effect on Morales' success. Starting in 1522, there are three different occurrences where a Cristobal de Morales was indicated to be an organist. There is little information of the whereabouts of Morales from January 1532 to May 1534. Morales is documented three times in Rome as Prospiter Toltanus in May and December 1534. By 1535 he had moved to Rome, where he was a singer in the papal choir, evidently due to the interest of Pope Paul Roman III, who was partial to Spanish singers. He remained in Rome until 1545, in the employ of the Vatican, then, after a period of unsuccessfully seeking other employment in Italy with the Emperor as well as with Cosimo I de Medici, he returned to Spain, where he held a succession of posts, many of which were marred by financial or political difficulties. While he was renowned by this time as one of the greatest composers in Europe, he seems to have been unpopular as an employee, for he began to have difficulty finding and keeping positions. Morales's fame was due in part to the numerous testimonials of those around him. The Spanish theorist Juan Bermudo declared him the light of Spain in music, while in 1559, a Mexican choir Spanish polyphony in particular was quick to reach the New World sang his music at a service commemorating the death of Charles V the previous year. His fame held strong on into the 18th century when Andrea Adame Dabalsina, biographer of many papal musicians, praised him as the papal chapel's most important composer between Josquin Despres and Palestrina. There is some evidence that he was a difficult character, aware of his exceptional talent, but incapable of getting along with those of lesser musical abilities. He made severe demands on the singers in his employ, alienated employers, and likely came across as arrogant. In spite of this, he was regarded as one of the finest composers in Europe around the middle of the 16th century. On 4 September 1553, he asked to be considered for the position of Maestro de Capilla at the Cathedral of Toledo, where he had previously worked, but died shortly after in Marchina. The actual date is not known, but was before October 7. Music and Influence Almost all of his music is sacred, and all of it is vocal, though instruments may have been used in an accompanying role in performance. He wrote many masses, some of spectacular difficulty, most likely written for the expert papal choir. He wrote over 100 motets, and he wrote 18 settings of the Magnificat, and at least five settings of the Lamentations of Jeremiah, one of which survives from a single manuscript in Mexico. The Magnificats alone set him apart from other composers of the time, and they are the portion of his work most often performed today. Stylistically, his music has much in common with other Middle Renaissance work of the Iberian Peninsula, for example a preference for harmony heard as functional by the modern ear root motions of fourths or fifths being somewhat more common than in, for example, Gomert or Palestrina, and a free use of harmonic cross-relations rather like one hears in English music. Some unique characteristics of his style include the rhythmic freedoms, 
such as his use of occasional three against four polyrhythms and cross rhythms where a voice sings in a rhythm following the text but ignoring the meter prevailing in other voices late in life he wrote in a sober heavily homophonic style but all through his life he was a careful craftsman who considered the expression and understandability of the text to be the highest artistic goal. Morales was the first Spanish composer of international renown. His works were widely distributed in Europe, and many copies made the journey to the New World. Many music writers and theorists in the hundred years after his death considered his music to be among the most perfect of the time. Masses Morales's Masses, of which 22 survive, use a variety of techniques, including cantus firmus and parody. Six masses are based on Gregorian chant, and these are mostly written in a conservative cantus firmus style. Eight of his masses use the parody technique, including one for six voices based on the famous chants in Mill Regrets, attributed to Josquin Desprez. The melody is arranged so that it is clearly audible in every movement, usually in the highest voice, giving the work considerable stylistic and motivic unity. Morales also wrote two masses on the famous Elham arm tune, which was so often set by composers in the late 15th century and 16th century, one of these is for four voices and the other for five. The four-voice mass uses the tune as a strict cantus firmus, and the setting for five voices treats it more freely, migrating it from one voice to another. In addition, he wrote a Missa pro defunctis, a requiem mass. Its peculiarities of transmission, as well as its apparent incomplete editing, suggest that it may be his last work. Works 22 Masses Missarum Liber Primus Rome, 1544 Missa Aspis Domine IV Missa of Maris Stella IV Missa de Beta Virgin IV Missa Alham Arm V O Missa Mill Regrets 6. Missa Quarimus Cum Pastoribus 5 of. Missa Si Bona Sesepimus 6. Missa Vulnerasti Cormium 4. Missarum Liber Secundus Rome 1544. Missa Benedicta Est Regina Calorum equals Missa Valentina 4. Missa Debita Virgin 5 of. Missa God Barbara 4. Missa Alham Army 4. Missa Pro Defunctis 5 of. Missa quem de cunt homines five of Missa two e's vas electionis four of others Missa caca Missa cortula Missa desild al cavallero four of Missa super at re my fa sol la four of Missa tristezes me matin five of Officium defunctorum four of ca fifteen twenty six twenty eight eighteen settings of the Magnificat five lamentations of Jeremiah over 100 motets. Recordings Cristobal de Morales, Mess Mill Regrets, Victor Alonso, Concert de Les Arts, CD Accord 204662, Cristobal de Morales, Missa de Beta Virgin of Fev, Collegium Vocale Gent, Philip Heroeg, V Sessions, 2009, Cristobal de Morales, Missa de Beta Virgin, Ensemble Jashit de Mantau, CD Calliope 9363, Cristobal de Morales, Missa Mill Regrets, Paul McCreesh, Gabrieli Consort and Players, CD Archive 474 228 minus 2, Cristobal de Morales, Missa C. Bonus Asepimus, Natalis Scholars Peter Phillips, Gimel CD Gim 33, Cristobal de Morales, Missa Vulnerasti Cor Meum, Canticum Canticorum, Orchestra of the Renaissance, Richard Cheatham, Michael No. 1, Glossa Cabinet GCD Sati 1, 1403, Cristobal de Morales, Morales in Toledo, Michael No. 1, Ensemble Plus Ultra, GCD 922001, Cristobal de Morales, Office des Tenebers, Denny's Raisin Dadder, Dallas Memoir, Naive E8878, Office of the Dead Slash Requiem, Cristobal de Morales, Officium Pars Mihai Domine, 
Jan Darberk and the Hilliard Ensemble. ECM 1525 The Pars Mihai Domine from his Officium Diffunctorum was used as the key track in three versions on the best-selling jazz and classical album of 1994, Officium by Jan Garberk and the Hilliard Ensemble. Cristobal de Morales, Morales, Requiem. Paul McCreish, Gabrielli Consort. CD Archive 457, 597 minus 2. Cristobal de Morales, Officium Diffunctorum, Misopro Defunctis. La Capella Real de Catalonia, Hesperian Roman 20, Jordi Savoy, Naive ES 9926.